Assalamualaikum and good afternoon guys um, I'd just like to recap this uh, FFC definition which is functional food center definition of functional food which is uh, A it has to be natural or processed food that contain uh, known or unknown biologically active compounds <clears throat> which can define effective and non-toxic amounts provide clinically proven and documented health benefits for prevention, management or treatment of chronic diseases. So by using FFC definition to design our products, we, uh, we highlight certain uh, elements there. One is called biologically active compounds and these biologically active compounds have to be defined have to be effective meaning you have to really know um, what, what, are we, what are we talking about when you say uh, biologically active compounds what compounds so you have to define it and then it has to be effective there must be some kind of study to show the effectiveness of these particular compounds to do certain things for our health and they must also study to, to indicate that uh, this amount, uh, effective uh, defined amount, is also non toxic to our health. And, and this clinical evidence proof that, uh, that there is health benefits documented somewhere. There is, uh, maybe it's for prevention, maybe it's for management or treatment of chronic diseases. Okay, so <coughs> you cannot simply use any ingredient. Uh, as much as possible try to find this ingredient that match or fulfill this FFC definition only you decide to go for that particular uh, functional ingredients okay <clears throat> so according to FFC definition it is all about the star of functional food functional food has star who is the star of functional food? <laughs> yep, the bioactive compounds. So this is the backbones of effectiveness of functional food. A particular functional food is effective in doing certain things because of the star, the bioactive compounds. So um, by using sciences, scientists has explained uh, how these particular compounds work how effective in the human body so this explanation yields confidence a the health outcome b the improvement of health and c in terms of uh, disease that it helps to treat even though by by uh, by claim by definition we are not supposed to claim for treatment of diseases but there are there are uh, bioactive compounds can do that can help Okay, we, we're going to cover this later. And then by having this star, bioactive compounds, um, the sign become more solid. Yeah, you have goal-oriented science activity. Um, in, in our product design and development, we know exactly uh, what to achieve. You cannot simply take any amount. You know how much amount that you can take. The amount required, what's the ratio uh, to achieve certain benefits. <clears throat> so these biotech compounds, um, we know, in the amount, the ratio required to convert uh, ordinary bread into functional bread, uh, these compounds uh, can 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 be effective in certain situation, uh, pH or temperature. At certain level, that is too much, it can be toxic. Yeah. And uh, if we, we consume at ordinary level, at the, what they call physiological level, that's supposed to be safe. Okay? Um, if you, you take too much, like higher level, uh, mm, this can be done at, at a certain situation, but this must, must uh, require uh, other testing. This is for extraordinary, for uh, uh, people with certain diseases. Uh, not for people that ordinary people healthy people like us for us we can consume the, f the functional food the normal way it is for different people 
with certain health requirement who are sick who need certain treatment uh, this particular people with the extra level of application of this compounds they need special testing okay but for us ordinary level ordinary food no issue we consume as healthy people as the human okay so another definition one we define the functional food from FFC, FFC standpoint second we go into uh, understanding that FFC uh, focus more on the bioactive compounds uh, because bioactive compound will uh, affect these biomarkers so the definition of uh, biomarkers is uh, indicators in the body that give signal in tissues maybe in organs maybe in system so biochemists or even medical scientists they can actually detect this uh, signal they can measure they can tell whether the bioactive compounds being effective or otherwise <clears throat> so um, these biomarkers can be can be diverse groups of compounds or processes and each and every bodily process triggers countless biological uh, responses you know about this you learn in biochemistry so there are numerous ways to measure the rate of effectiveness of the products or the process so biomarkers will determine the rate of effectiveness of a biological process in the natural state after uh, functional food administrations right <clears throat> So we can illustrate this definition of FFC by using um, this particular illustration. You have a human body there, and then you have the biotic compounds in the whether it comes from natural products in in the in the in natural form or it comes in the processed food form. So we consume a defined, effective, and non-toxic amounts and we can measure the biomarkers uh, then they can publish the results some being patented some in the uh, established uh, journals uh, it is proven through clinical study uh, the, the health benefits are being documented okay so when you see this definition of F FFC on functional food you know that functional food is, is more about uh, the health benefits yeah it's about science it's not about uh, law it's about legality that's why I call it almost almost illegal yeah it is legal but almost illegal okay the question that uh, you can ask now is uh, you can discuss the definition uh, relevant of this definition of FFC to the design of functional food meaning when you want to design a functional food you want to design and develop functional food look at the definition of FFC whether the ingredient that you decide to purchase fulfill this criteria so if I ask you a, a very complex and tough question is apple a functional food is ulam raja a functional food if not how you want to make this uh, apple or ulam raja functional or oh, instant coffee is it functional beverage <laughs> I don't have answers okay um, this is just integral uh, path or biological pathways of biomarkers because biomarkers are useful this way so you can by using biomarkers you know in our body the physiology the biochemistry you can theorize a certain bioactive compound will have certain benefits because you understand the human body <clears throat> if you consume uh, monocholine for instance this is bioactive compounds you can measure cholesterol which is the biomarker and then you can predict the benefits to the heart health health yeah so biomarkers indicate the mechanism by which bioactive compounds prevent or treat illness so we observe biomarkers in a specific process and we can clarify the roles of bioactive compounds okay <clears throat> all right so this question will come in in uh, maybe uh, during tests or during exam uh, what are biomarkers explain with example this kind of question explain the usefulness of biomarkers in functional food research so biomarkers are essential tools for gauging functional food effectiveness discuss all right just just an example doesn't mean the question will come up okay um, finally I want you to ponder uh, how will you use this uh, functional food center 
definition to propose or to design a new functional food products how how uh, of course in the class uh, what I want you to do next time if you go to class uh, face to face yeah you can use your own money or you can share between four or five friends you can purchase one food product that you think that is functional you bring that particular food uh, to class and you justify why you think that food is functional okay guys so that's about the definition of functional food according to ffc because you're going to use ffc as our definition when we design our functional food okay take care and happy learning yeah